Hi everyone, Bob Green here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So, it's a little bit ironic that, uh, given my history, I end up living in an apartment with black and white tiles. Anyway, what are we looking at here? This is the Lion 2 reactor. And I am told by its author that, well, as far as our communications are concerned, I was led to believe that it may have self-sustained for up to three days. Yes, three, at least two and a half. And the temperature at that point, when that part of the conversation was going, was between around 950 degrees C and 1070 something degrees C. Well, anyway, he wanted to run it for two weeks to see if it would sustain for a fortnight, self-sustain for a fortnight. However, when he uh, came back the following period, I don't know what the interval was, I uh, was told that he found the reactor in a state that was so unbelievable, he decided it would be completely pointless to describe it uh, because <laughs> he said I wouldn't believe him anyway. So what he has done is he sent the reactor and it's extremely tempting to open this box. It's been here for about an hour, but I've been doing other things, as you might be aware. Um, but I have not opened it, and I'm going to look after the kids uh, till about 9.30 this evening. That, that, that is Central European time. And then as soon as possible after that, I will try and get to the office, uh, into the lab, and I will look to open this live on YouTube so that you can all enjoy the actual sight as, as it's revealed to me. So, as it stands, there is only the lion author that has seen what this looks like, and maybe anyone that's close to them or him. Uh, and uh, you and I, those that watch it, will be the next people in the world to witness what has happened to this reactor. I look forward to seeing you later this evening.